Today I'm going to try and show you how a Stirling battery maintainer works and how it can keep your engine battery topped up. On the left here we have a multimeter with the leisure battery reading and on the right we have a multimeter with the engine battery reading. Now the idea of the Stirling battery maintainer is that once the leisure battery is on charge so whether it's from a solar panel or a wind generator or even your mains charger it can transfer to the other battery. A Stirling battery maintainer is a simple little device that wires either directly to your batteries or into your split charge system. On the unit is two fuse holders, one for each battery bank and also some LEDs that will indicate what the unit is actually doing. We can see here that while the leisure battery is not being charged the battery maintainer does very little, it's dormant. Um, once we raise the voltage on the habitation battery it will start to trickle charge up to 3 amps into the engine battery ideal to cover the load of say a tracker or an alarm system or something like that and ideal for use with a solar panel system the battery maintainer has four warning lights on the top of it the first one which is lit up is the green light to tell you that the source battery is good um, then there's a battery low warning light which is the next one down and then a blue one to tell you that the current is flowing and then a red one which is a protection for overcharge on the engine battery. We can see here I've changed the meter on the right hand side to give you an amp reading so you can see that there's 2.3 amps flowing into the engine battery from the leisure battery. This will only occur once the battery voltage is raised over 13.3. Um, this is more than adequate charge to cover any loads that an alarm system or tracker or something that may discharge your battery while in storage.